Taking a picture, man. <laughs> Right, the Mamiya 6, this is the camera. When I when I got it, uh, it, it didn't have this. I bought it on, on in, in, in uh, Yodobashi camera in Japan, uh, which is simply like this thing that you put on the tripod mount so you could carry it around. And it's uh, it made the camera really comfortable because um, if you don't have anything to carry it around, you just rely on your hands. My hands are kind of slippery. I didn't know what to expect because I'm not an expert on folder cameras at all. Um, I, I could even say this is my first uh, proper folder camera. I have other folder cameras now because I got the fever with this one. So I got um, two more folder cameras that I want to talk about in future episodes. But for now, this is the one that I want to talk about, the Mamiya 6. There are many, many models of Mamiya 6. There are Mamiya 6 that are automatic, um, Mamiya 6 that can shoot 6x6 and 6x4.5. This is one of those. Well, the camera itself, if you open it, it goes like this, and then it has this lever here. And when you move this lever there, you can see it has um, this mask, as you can see. And you can move this, you can flip this, and then if you flip it like this, it shoots six by six. And if you want to shoot six by 4.5, you just move this there and there, and that's it. You get the mask ready. On the back, you'll see it has 42 formats. So right now it shoots 16 frames on six by 4.5. If you want to change the format, just move this lever upwards like so, and now you're shooting six by six. I, that's pretty amazing and by the same token it changed on the back so now you only have 12 exposures if you're shooting on this format and it has a mask that you slide in so for example now it's in 6x6 six six, and if you flip this thing to the side it adds some 
things on the side. So I showed one roll for the episode, but I also showed one roll of black and white to test the camera um, in 6x4.5. And I also shot uh, one more slide film uh, in Japan. And so far, all the results are great. It's a, it's a really, really fun camera to use. When you see something interesting, you, un you open it up and you take a picture and then you just collapse it and that's it. Like, it, it's so nice. It fits on the pockets of my jacket, so that's pretty cool. It's important that it's pocket size because I was carrying around the Miya C330 and that's a big ass camera. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely the lightest medium format camera I have. Of course, uh, that is not made out of plastic. If I had a Olga, for example, that would be um, much, much lighter, but then that would be much flimsier uh, and will have plastic lenses. And this has amazing lenses and it's a rangefinder, which is also a big reason why I got it. Of course, it, the lens is not a 2.8, it's a 3.5. Well, let's talk about the rangefinder system for a second because I think it's very, it's pretty interesting. So usually on rangefinders, you focus with your left hand, right? Like this, but on this camera, it doesn't work like that. So the aperture is selected by sliding this little wheel, uh, and it's, 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 it's quite a handy system, it's really easy to get used to it. And the shutter speeds are selected by turning this wheel over here in front of the lens. So of course you have to set everything in the front of the lens, so you'll be constantly looking at your lens before setting the shot. You'll be doing this, you know, like, oh, 3.5, uh, 100. And then you cock the shutter, which is actually super important. If you don't cock the shutter, you won't take the picture. And you cock the shutter and we take the picture and that's it. Super simple. Now the rangefinder mechanism is what makes it interesting because since you're not focusing with your left hand, what you're doing is you're focusing with your right hand. So the same hand that takes the picture is the one that's gonna focus and that works by turning this wheel on the back. This is your focusing mechanism. And as you turn it, the distances will move too. As you can see, you're infinity and then you're up to one meter. Now you can say that the distance between infinity and one meter is way too short, but trust me, it's really easy to get used to it. So just by little movements of the hand, you can actually select the uh, distance that your subject is and it's really easy to use. Now, contrary to what you will believe, when you turn the focusing knob around, it, the front of the lens never moves, it's the back that moves. So when you're focusing, what you're actually doing is moving the back. That's really interesting and it works really well. And that's the reason why I had this plate. So the whole time the film is always completely flat. Overall, I would say it's a great camera. I really love it. I think it's super fun to use. Uh, I surprised myself on how, I don't know, fun it is to shoot. Uh, of course, you have to, once you take a picture, you have to open it on the back and, and advance the frame and see when the new number comes up and then stop and then like close it. That's this version that I have. There are many Mamiya 6s, which are foldable cameras that you might be interested in checking out. Uh, some of them are automatic, meaning you just, uh, you take a picture and then when you wind it, the, the shutter will cock itself automatically. Mine uh, doesn't work like that. I have to cock it constantly, but it's not really a big problem because uh, I don't know, it, I, I never forget to do it. It's really easy to keep that in mind. Uh, and besides, it allows me to make multiple um, multiple exposures, so that's also fun. I was actually looking for a Mamiya 7, that was like the most lusted camera everybody wants, but then I don't like 6x7 format, I don't know what it is, it's not, I don't think it's comfortable. Then I discovered the Mamiya 6 existed, the classic Mamiya 6, like the big black body uh, made out of plastic, and then I thought, man, that's, that's also very expensive, is there like a cheaper version of that camera? And yes, lo and behold, it is. The Mamiya 6 is the camera that I was looking for. Um, so if you want to check it out, search it on eBay. There are many cameras for sale. When I got it in Japan, I was kind of scared because there were many Mamiya 6s for sale in the store that I went to. Um, and some of them were labeled as great condition or, you know, all okay. And then when I opened them and I put it on build mode, bulb mode to see like how the lens was and I looked um, at the lens against you know a bright light the lenses were full of fungus or had haze or whatever this particular lens looked pretty good so I decided to just give it a try and, and bring it home if you can get your hands on one of these uh, I will highly recommend them they're super fun to use and yeah overall they're great cameras this is my my new um, my new always with me medium format camera uh, for sure. I, I, I like it a lot. So 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope you find it interesting. I hope you enjoy the pictures. I hope you enjoy what I had to say about the camera. Uh, if you have any doubts about the camera at all, I'm happy to uh, answer the questions that you might have. If I can answer them and I know the answers, I'll for sure uh, answer. And I guess I have nothing else to say. I'll see you next week. And that's it. Keep shooting, guys. <laughs>